Fisherman's wife, he promised me the world. He brought me fish. I hope for friends, a comfortable home. Broadway tickets, he brought me fish. I'm the fish wife, married to fish. Carp, herring, white fish, sunnies. All day long, I work for the fish and the fish for me. Scaling, gutting, slicing, chopping, pickling, drying, smoking. Their scales, my jewelry, encircling my neck. Porgies, Pollock, blues, whitey. Their guts feed beans and greens in my garden. The rest feed us. Baked, fried, boiled soup, stew, gefilte, bass, croaker, flounder, shad. Their bones, so are clothes, smoked on Sundays. Their flesh adorns bagels. Kingfish, bonito, butterfish, mackerel. Fisherman's wife, he promised me the world. He brought me fish. I hoped for friends, a comfortable home, Broadway tickets. He brought me fish. So, he says, the fish gave him a wish. Please, here I am, house dress, hair in a rag, payless shoes, three rooms in a Coney Island walk-up. So ask him for a nice house, I say. He goes out, talks to the water, and guess what? Tenement gone. We're in this house. I'm standing there, hands raw and chapped, in a building with creamy white walls. I'm scared to even touch. It's him, me, the fish I'm cleaning, and the sorry, sorry, falling apart sticks we call these our furniture. So I say, if I haven't lost my mind, I'd like new furniture too. And if I have lost my mind, I still want it. So my husband huffs and puffs. He makes a production. What difference should it make to a magic fish if I have a tempur mattress and a Chippendale dresser? Exactly. You know me. I'm a crazy lady in a city filled with crazy ladies. I found a murmuring heart in a babbling brook, spilling its guts into the morning air. Your name is tattooed on the insides of my eyelids. It's the first thing I see in the morning and the last thing I see at night. Promise me you won't leave me alone. You know me. I'm a crazy lady in a city filled with crazy ladies. I need an antidepressant injury lawyer, and my person has been sorely injured. There but for the grace of God, you say. Well, God has no grace, because there go I. I am the one going. You know me. I'm a crazy lady in a city filled with crazy ladies. The heart beating in my chest murmurs, Be careful. Be hopeful. Don't despair. Stay alive. She robbed me of my heart when she lifted my iPod, stealing into my room in her wedding dress. Not my bride, but I wished she would be, imagining what she might feel like under the lace, soft, creamy skin, erect nipples, moist heaven between her thighs. I saw her long and larcenous fingers handle my property, curl around it, clasp it for a minute before it disappeared between her breasts. Those babies could hold a lot of tiny electronics. She bit her lip just where I wanted to nip that juicy redness. Her downcast gaze was sly, coy, and exciting. Scanning my dresser, finding my cash of twenties, lucky Andrew Jackson caressing her with his cheek. Take everything, abscond with my clothes, I cried silently. Take me, I sighed, possibly out loud. She froze. A pregnant moment, full of desire, fear, shame, holding me prisoner, spellbound and paralyzed by her stare. She backed away, delicately removing my things, laying them down. The last I saw of her was her long black hair and a glimpse of a rosy soul as she carried off my heart. The rag woman's bones are as threadbare as her heart, which is empty of memories. She recalls nothing. The ragbone woman drags her carcass through the alleys and through bulging, piss-covered garbage bags. The rag woman's rags flap like clothes on a line, grime-covered frilly blouses, layers of old lady smells, a tentative frame sewn together with sinew, topped by serviceable sweaters. The bone woman carries a bone bag, catgut threaded through the eye of the chicken beak needle, 
bind fabric together into a reluctant carry-all. It holds the crushed baby bird, first spring worm, daughter's photo inside. The ragbone woman makes her home under the shopping cart, by the banks of the gutter stream flowing into the sewer, under the F train overhead. It pounds out rhythms, she nods to, as it slams into the station, jammed with all those beating hearts. <laughs>